Let's now look at a, another problem as an example of how to model business problem using a function. And so in our current problem right here, the wording of the problem says, uh, in a certain city, the local water utility company charges each customer a flat fee of $4.17 per month plus $2.07 per 1,000 gallons of water used during the month. If the company has 27,000 customers, find the following where X is the total number of gallons used and measured in thousands. So the, the first question here is, so to find the following first question, we're looking for find a monthly revenue function, R of X, for water, for the water utility company. So, so in the way how the problem is wording to this and, and, and describing, then so X represents uh, the, the amount of water consumed by all customers. So I have to clarify that this is consumed by all customers and in thousands. And so the reason I can say that I can point out that X is the, the amount of water consumed by all customers because uh, in the description of the problem it says where X is the total number of gallons used. Okay? And that total number of gallons is being in thousand. So what it means here is that if x equals uh, 1, so when x equals 1 as our variable, so it means uh, 1,000 gallons of water being used in that month. And I have to make clear as well that so the x variable, once we assign a value, it, it means the, the, the number of thousands of gallons used in a month. And after, after considering all of the 27,000 customers. And so this x variable, in other words, is independent with the number of customers being described in the problem. So to get started, question in part A asks, find the monthly revenue function, or of x, for, water util for that water utility company. So what we have looked here is $2.07 charge per every 1,000 gallons of water. So this is considered as a variable cost. So I'm looking at uh, some variable cost. If you got some x thousand gallons of water being used. And like I said, again, the, each value of this x variable is already after considering all 27,000 customers together. So I should have noted here earlier that this is after 27,000 customers. So this $2.07 is the charge per every 1,000 gallon. So if we, for each month, cons considering all 27,000 customers together, each month, if, if we use, if the company if, if X thousand gallons of water are being used for that month, then the, they, they put the total cost here that this is called variable cost, then being $2.07 times uh, every X. And now we're go, going to add. But so here, there is a fixed cost. The flat rate here is $4.17. This is the, in terms of cost for customers, and this is a fixed cost, fixed cost. But this is only, as the, the description was saying, it's a flat fee per month. But for each customer, so the company charges each customer a flat fee of $4.17 per month. So that's $4.17 per month does depend on the number of customers. 
And so here for each month, after 27,000 customers, then we need to multiply this $4.17 with 27,000. And so make clear notes that this 27,000 is not, should not be multiplied with this other quantity. And so that is how we come up with our revenue function. Some calculation comes out showing that uh, our final revenue function is $2.07 for each thousands of gallons of water and after x thousands of water, thousands of gallons of water, we're going to add with 112590 dollars. So this is our final revenue function as a function in terms of x, the number of gallons, the number of thousands of gallons being used uh, per month. And I also need to clarify that uh, a lot of time when I brought up this problem as an example in my in-person class, in, in my face-to-face -face class, then a lot of time I have students who try to do the problem independently comes up with this expression for r of x so with the variable cost being two dollars oh seven per every thousand we multiply that with x thousand and plus the flat rate four dollars seventeen but then I saw a common mistake that my a lot of my students who try to do this problem independently which is good that they try but uh, the common mistake here is to multiply the entire expression here with 27,000 customer. But remind uh, yourself, and, and you can rewind the video of, and seeing my explanation, but this 27,000 is only applicable for this flat rate because this flat rate here is the charge per customer. However, this charge right here is the charge per every thousand. And this x variable, the value for the x variable is already after after considering all 27,000 customers. And so for that reason, if we, if we distribute this 27,000 or in a way how we are writing this 27,000 as a common factor, then multiplying 27,000 to this uh, first term inside of the parentheses here is gonna make it too much. And so, our, and so once again, our final uh, expression for this revenue function is R of x equals 2.07x plus 112,590 dollars. And now let's look at the same problem but in a, a different question. A different question being brought up. So now let's find the monthly revenue when the average monthly usage per customer is 3,200 3, gallons of water. So every month, a cu each customer is using 3,200 gallons of water. And, and we are actually in the same problem. It's just a different uh, question being brought up here. So all that information remains the same here. We got you know, each customer being charged a flat fee per month, uh, being $4.17. Okay. And then $2.07 per every one. 1,000 gallons of water being used during the month. And then we got 27,000 customers. So all the explanations about the, the meaning of the variable x remains the same. And after question A has been answered, we already found our revenue function. It's to be that function 2.07x plus 112,590. So this was our found revenue function. So, but it can also be a slightly tricky a little bit in when we are using this function into answering question B right here. So question B, when I'm saying find the monthly revenue when the average monthly usage per customer is 3,200 gallons of water, then I have to make clear. Also, when I'm giving out this problem in, in a face-to-face -face class, then a lot of time I have my students, after reading the information, commonly mistake the value of x to substitute into the function. Well, obviously, it's easy enough to understand that here we just simply need to, to substitute a value of x. So 300, 
I mean, 3,200 gallons of water. I keep having my students commonly mistake this as 3.2 as the value for x, and then substitute to find the revenue when r of 3.2. So I have to make clear that this is actually a misunderstanding. So now if we read the problem a little more carefully, so this is per customer. So one customer, think about on average, one customer use 3,200 gallons of water. So yes, x has something to do with 3.2, but 3.2, this is only per customer, and your, the meaning of the x is, is the, the amount of water being consumed by all customers. So really, for think in terms of from the company size right here, then that company for every customer, each month, every customer use this much, but the x here represent, only represents the amount of water, so really it has to be 3.2 times 27,000, because the company in the end has, after all, considering all 27,000 customers, they have that many customers. And so truly, in this case, the actual value of x to substitute into our function is going to be, calculation gives me 86,000 and 400. And this is the actual value of x right here. I mean, think about what makes sense here is that for a real big size, a good size company, then this is how much water being bought out from their company. So it makes sense that way. This is how, much, how many thousands of gallons of water being bought from their company. So it's a good benefit for them. And so now our revenue function for this company is going to be R substituting in 86,400. And that would mean we have 2.07 times 86,400. And add with the additional flat fee. And that gives me so all together here. Calculation comes out to be 291430. And this is in dollars. Here we're talking about the company should be earning hundreds of thousands per month.